Hi Leo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon and descendant sign. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign Leo, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're gonna speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's gonna resonate with everybody and that is fine. Um, remember to use your own discernment, always, right? Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, like peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week, you've got the star card which kind of makes sense, right? We're just off the back of that really powerful full moon in the sign of Aquarius, um, which was in your, you know, especially if you're an ascendant, but to a lesser degree, the sun and the moon, especially if you're uh, an ascendant Leo, uh, in your seventh house, right? Which is highlighting your relationships, your partnerships, uh, the mirror that people give back to you from the world, right? So in, in that case as well, you wanna see like anything that happens in the seventh, it shows you what you're pouring out into the world, because you often get it mirrored back to you by everybody outside, uh, you know, outside of yourself in the world. Now, um, the star card, right? You're getting a glimpse this week, Leo. You get a little taster, a little tidbit of all of the goodies to come. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check out the uh, September 2021 Taroscopes. I think that's gonna make a big difference to you. Um, now, uh, with this, uh, um, star card as well there's a sense as well like it brings you hope like and this week i actually feel like this might be something that you've maybe sorely needed right and you get that you get it all back now you've got the star you've got the star card but your foundation is the death card right in a lot of ways this actually suggests to me that this week you you're it's like there's a moment where you're going to be able to say that is done i can chalk a line under it i can say this is over this is finished I don't ever have to do it again. I don't ever have to be tied to this again. I don't ever have to, do you know what I mean? Like there's something this week where you're, it's like something is being released, something's being let go of, but it allows you to do so in a way uh, where you, you're you excited about the future. I kind of like in my mind's eye, what I'm seeing is somebody that's swimming and it's like the chains are being cut off of their feet so they can, you know, swim to the surface. So whatever it is, this week it actually feels like there's a release of a burden in some way, shape or form. So if you are uh, new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and this resonates, hit the subscribe button. If you want uh, a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. And also, if you would like to study tarot, if you would like to be on my next upcoming course, I'm only taking 20 students, so spaces are very limited. Um, if you wanna be a part of that, send me an email on the link in the description box below. Um, I will say this as well, it is, um, my pleasure and my honor to treat to, to finally be teaching this class i taught one this year already uh, this is the second round and i'm really excited because i've done a lot to improve it since then my first batch of students taught me so much and i'm so grateful to them so if you want to be a part of it you will be seeing posts and stuff to tell you you know what's going to be a part of the course and i will send you that information as well so if you want to get it get on for your actions and options this week you have the devil card right a lot of major card energy going on at the moment for, you, for the Leos. So what does that tell us, right? Well, it tells us that big things are happening for you this week. Now you've got this um, uh, devil card here in the actions and options. And I feel like this week you could be pushing yourself really hard. There's nothing wrong with working hard. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I buy into, like some people say like, oh, it's not about working hard anymore. Okay, fine. But if you don't work hard on something, then you, you know, you're not really going to get the results that you want. So I'm all for it in moderation. But this week, workaholism, uh, overindulgence, pushing yourself to the max or to the extreme, uh, you know, especially with the star card here as well, this could be you banking on something for the future that might not necessarily be paying out now. Um, this would be, I guess the words that I really wanna say to you is if you're a Leo, don't rely on the fact that you have a guardian angel this week, right? You've gotta be more practical. You've gotta be more grounded than that. Um, 
you know, this is this is not one of those weeks to take those kinds of risks. When it comes to your communications and conversations, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is nice, right? So for some of you, this is a new endeavor when it comes to the finances. This could be the release of something new on the digital platforms in some way, shape or form. Uh, <laughs> stay tuned. Uh, so yeah, I like that. And whatever it is, it could be very lucrative for you. There is though, look at this, right? There's that tendency to really work very hard or really push yourself to the max, which again, it has its time and place, but if you're just pushing yourself and you're just working hard, eventually you're gonna burn yourself out and it's important that you find a way to um, to not, you know, to, to not do that, right? So Ace of Pentacles with the star card. This is releasing something new into the digital sphere, but it could just as easily be a new work endeavor that really cements your financial future in some way, shape or form. This is very, very exciting. For those of you that work for somebody else, this could be a job interview, right? This could be the offer of a job or, you know, um, an upgrade to the job that you have and therefore a pay rise, therefore you're reaching a different pay bracket. There's something this month as well, for those of you that are employed by somebody else, it kind of suggests to me that you're, it's almost like you're you are getting the recognition that Leos love to have, right? Which is, is, is nice. Uh, now, for those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, whatever it is that you're doing on the digital plane or in the digital sphere, whatever you're releasing out into the world or finally sharing with people, is going to do very, very well. And whatever you're doing this week, you are cementing that next step for yourself, which is actually very, very exciting. I'm quite intrigued to see how this is gonna go, actually, uh, for myself included, obviously, right? Now, when it comes to those of you that are retired or no longer working, this could be you doing something for fun that ends up becoming very lucrative for you. Uh, for some of you, it does look like you may be studying an online course. For some of you, it looks like you might be deciding to um, maybe create something and you know, you're doing it for fun, but then you realize, hey, hang on a sec, I can make money from this. It's, I really, really like this, it's lovely. Um, all right, for your love and relations, you've got the Two of Cups. This is lovely. Now, the Two of Cups coupled with the Devil card is not an easy signature to talk about, I'm sorry to say. Um, on a physical level, that can be things like STIs, um, you know, so this would be a week for whether you're single, whether you're partnered, this is a week to really look after your uh, intimate health, let's say. Um, <laughs> that's just a, the plainest way that I can put it. But this could just as easily be, um, you know, a heightened sexual appetite. You know, that's one way that this could come. Like this could be a week where you feel really lusty, where, you know, really highly sexed and all of that stuff. Absolutely. Um, but it, like I said, it can represent that, that other thing. And because you've got this Ace of Pentacles here as well, which sometimes can be representative of the physical body. Um, loathe to say this week, just really look after yourself. But the Two of Cups coupled with the ace of pentacles this could be meeting somebody through work meeting somebody uh you know via an interview actually maybe this is you're being introduced to somebody through your social media or through your network of friends which is just as exciting um when it comes to those of you that are partnered or in relationships um, I like this, but your partner may kind of say to you this week, look, I think you're overdoing it and actually I'm feeling a bit neglected. So just be aware that that energy is around, but because it's the two of cups, the energy is harmonious between you and your lover. For your money and materials, oh my gosh, you've got the nine of cups, right? Something that you've worked really hard on, something that you are, you know, literally that you've put your blood sweat and tears into looks like it comes good right it has the desired effect that nine of cups as well what is the financial wish when it comes to your money your materials your finances what is it that you would hope for at this moment in time because you've got all the chances to make it possible with that ace of pentacles this is a financial uh, wish desire manifestation coming good right so something that you have called out for excuse me, something that you've called out for, something that you've asked for to make its way into your life, makes its presence known this week, absolutely. 
I actually think as well, like even with that devil card, I think this could be one of probably one of the best weeks of the year for you guys. But we are, I mean, with all the energy that's going to start moving into Virgo now, Sun, Moon or Ascendant, that's your second house, right? To a lesser degree, the Sun and the, and the Moon, but especially for you Ascendant Leos, that's a lot of energy moving into Virgo is all about the money, the materials, the money that you own from the business that you have, the things that you value when it comes to the material world. The fact that this is, you know, rounding up like this, I love this because whatever it is that you're doing is cementing your financial future in a really exciting way. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, your Nine of Cups is going to be your lymphatic system. Um, it's also going to be... Um, yeah, it's going to be your, your hormones, your lymph system. I'm not a doctor. I can't give you medical advice, you know, yada, yada, yada. Uh, <laughs> all part and parcel. Um, and for your home and environment, this could be, this week it looks like you're purchasing something that you've wanted to buy for a while, but maybe you didn't have the money. Maybe you didn't have the resources. Maybe you were in that space where it's like, okay, well, I can't do it now, but it is definitely something that I want, something that I'm going to buy myself, so I'm going to do it when I can. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. I think even with that devil card, even with some of the, the challenging messages that I had to give, this really does look like a phenomenal week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.